What is up, everybody, and welcome to Internet Famous, the internet show about internet things. I'm your host, Devilor, and I am super hyped for tonight's show. It's going to be a really, really good one. But first, allow me to introduce my partner in crime. It's the one, the only, currently knocking things over on his desk. <laughs> it's Mr. Mike V, a.k.a. a.k.a. Mike V. How's it going, bud? Good. How's it going? Good. Good. I'm totally not knocking things off my desk. I caught it, though. You, it's a dad reflex. I did. didn't have that. Five, five, six years ago, it would hit the ground. <laughs> Today? Mm-mm. Yeah. Like that. Uh, and speaking of five or six years ago, actually, uh, joining us tonight is a longtime friend of uh, both of ours. Uh, going all the way back to the Day Z days, uh, but more recently, you may know him as Captain Johnny Dazzler. Everybody, give a warm welcome for Thadrius. What's up, dude? <laughs> what up? How y'all doing? Good. Good. Shit. Yeah. yeah. What, a, what a long, weird road it's been. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's been it has been a long, long time. So how you doing, man? How how are things? How's 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 the streaming life treating you? Good, tiring, exhausted. <laughs> but yeah, I, I feel like I feel like every single one of those words I just used can describe a streamer's experience. Mm. Yeah, tired, exhausting. <laughs> I don't know what else I said, but we'll go with that. I've had I've had I've had plans for the past like three years to do one of those a day in the life of like what I do every day. I just haven't had time <laughs> like, maybe yeah. if i do a little bit each day over the course of a year i could be like all right here i finally put together what one day's worth was it took a year but we finally got it together because that's what it's like when the stream shuts off it's like you're working on more stuff for the stream or whatever yeah. it's yeah. crazy like do yeah. one of those like where you take a picture of yourself every day for like a year take like a 10 second video <laughs> clip of yourself every day for like a year yeah. where you're just continually you're trying to finish one sentence and that's that's about it it's yes. it's like it's like those pictures they take of the president whenever like the first day in office and then like four years later. Yeah. It's like it's like you took a picture of a streamer when they first start, they're like all happy and joyous and <laughs> I'm full excited. of emotion. Full of emotion and desire. And and then you take a picture four years later, they're just all <laughs> Yeah, hunched over. <laughs> uh, another picture. Uh, yeah. We actually um we were, we were trying to get some stuff going. I hear I'm hearing just looking over at the chat that uh, some stuff happened in GTA. We had to jump off to do this, um, but we were we were sitting around as as Tac One, getting ready to move in and and do some stuff. Uh, yeah, that was that was um well it was good because it, it allowed me some time to actually get all the prep work done <laughs> for the show. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting there in the in the bus waiting, but yeah, it was apparently a bunch of stuff just happened. Yeah, I, I've been getting filled in. A couple of clips getting sent over here. Some uh, some drama, mm. drama, and shit went down. So, oh man, I don't, don't know I much think, else about it. I think everyone was expecting something to happen at some oh, yeah. point at this thing. Like, there's oh, yeah. if if they had gone through this whole wedding and there hadn't just been uh, there just been a wedding and Freddie Price and Fanny Pudding just got married. And then went on with their lives and lived happily ever after. I think everyone would have been super disappointed. <laughs> See, here's the thing, and it's a common running joke in RP weddings. They always end up being like the red wedding. I don't mm. think I've ever been a part of a wedding that has not somehow ended up with someone either dying, getting assaulted, or getting shot. So, well, this yeah. dates back. This any kind of celebration, uh, yeah. <laughs> like always gets. <laughs> Like the first one I can remember is the uh, in Wow, where there is like a funeral or something happening for because oh, a, a, a guy actually died. And so they had this like kind of a service in the game and I ended up getting raided and just like just massive just PvP yeah. happened and it was just crazy. Uh, so, yeah, it's just it's kind of like par for the course. It's like, oh, you're going to get a bunch of player characters together and they're all going to just uh, just not kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> is, is PvP possible in this thing? If yes, it will happen. Yeah, oh, yeah, precisely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, getting into our topics for today, uh, it seems like every week on this show so far, we've ended up talking about something new that Twitch did. And this week, Twitch did two new things, which I think are interesting to talk about and what sort of the implications of that are. Um, the first thing they rolled out with is their new uh, chat badges. They came out with, um, I can't think of anything other than like their actual name. What is the actual name? Like, look here, Clip Champs and Top Cheerers. I don't 
I'm never going to remember those names. Instead, for me, they're going to be cheerleaders and clip commanders <laughs> because. <laughs> Flip. I'm glad you, it. you enunciated as well as you did because if yes. you would have said that really yes. fast, that yeah. would have been something else. Yeah, uh, clip commander. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm never going to be able to say it right. <laughs> Never going to be able to say it right now. Yeah. Mm, no, it's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, top cheerers is coming soon, but clip clip champs or clip commander um, is already out. And basically, what that is, um, it seems like it's actually really easy to get this badge. I've seen a ton of people with it, where it's basically like if you make a clip um, for a specific channel. So this is channel specific. You make clips for that specific channel across four weeks in a month, um, and at least one of them uh, goes off. Basically, you need to you need 50 combined views. But in practice, that's usually going to be I made a clip every week and one of them got shared somewhere sort of yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Then you get this chat badge that shows you as the uh, the clip champ of that channel or at least a clip champ of that channel, because obviously other people will be able to get that as well. Um, and that shows other where uh, in other parts of Twitch, apparently I haven't actually seen it myself, but like uh, clip viewing pages, clip tabs of a channel and so on. You might uh, you might see your your status as the clip commander there. Um, how do you guys think about that? I, I think this is kind of neat, but it's sort of like a cautious optimism. How do you guys how do you guys feel about it? Um, I feel like it'll get more people to clip uh, certain things. I've already kind of looked at my like my past clips. So like I don't know. I have a routine when everyone does streaming. I'll go into like the past twenty four hours most popular clips that people did, and I'll look at some of them. And ever since they announced that that badge thing, they've like doubled the amount mm -hmm. the amount that are actually mm -hmm. going in there. But I mean, it's cool. I like badges. You know, it'll give people more incentive to do it. So what's the issue? Yeah. The yeah. um. Just, yeah, purely the incentive to just make more clips and also for them to share the clips. Like mm. a lot of times people will make the clip and uh, well, nowadays they force you to put a title in. Right. So everybody mm. that I've seen made a click has made a clip has made I'm really careful. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> has, uh, uh, you know, they, they they've they've come up with a creative name for it or they've uh, or they've made an attempt to like share it. And you know, obviously going forward, it's going to be more of an incentive for them. So basically it's helping, uh, you know, the, they're, they're going to have the opportunity to earn a badge at the same time. They're also helping promote your channel. So it's just kind of a double incentive there. Mm -hmm. Are you guys worried about potential abuse cases for this at all? Like um, in the in the case where, say, like something dumb happens on your stream or whatever, like uh, I, I forgot how an ability worked in WoW or something or um, whoops, here's a here's a cop. People like to go after the cop characters in um um, in GTA and be like, oh, look here, they, they didn't quite follow protocol exactly how it should be if this was a real world scenario. So let's clip this sort of thing and share that everywhere. Um, or, or like a female streamer, like, hey, here's a clip of uh, she dropped something and had to bend over and pick it up sort of thing. Like, are you guys worried about like people getting badges for sharing stuff like that? Is that a, is that a thing? <laughs> Well, first of all, I'm I'm not at all aware of the latter of those three examples you gave. Never <laughs> indulged in anything like that. But like, yeah, because right now the way that I've seen clips are, you know, they get shared over Twitter. Um, they get shared over Reddit, especially especially GTA. They've got a whole subreddit where they, you know, most of it's people being toxic, but. Yeah. I, I, I could see that happening, you know, people uh, sharing it and then it, it gaining like traction to en enough to a point where maybe kind of abusing that, you know, like to get that badge. I could see that happening. Absolutely. Yeah. Like is the is the proper way to get the clip commander badge to post on live stream fails or something mm -hmm. like. Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing is that they're going to uh, that right now. I feel like live stream fails is one of the biggest uh, uh, places to get traffic, biggest traffic drivers. Absolutely. For uh for uh, uh twitch clips and so yeah like it's even if even if you post something and it just sits in new for a while you're going to get more views than if you tweet it out and you have like six followers or something you know so yeah. Yeah, there's it's it's always a possibility because someone's going to watch it to see if it's worth even upvoting and that's it yeah and like I mean, all you need is 50 views so if you if you do that for over four weeks and each one of them gets what 15 views then that's that's your your badge right there mm -hmm. so i'm gonna like, I'm going to start watching for people who have this badge in my chat room and be like, all right, 
what clip did this? Because that's, that's actually, <laughs> I actually saw somebody, um, I'm trying to remember who it was I was watching stream the other day, but it was somebody I was watching and they had the, the clip champ badge and they were like, I don't actually even know what clip got me this. <laughs> I don't know why I have this. I feel it like, quite a few. <laughs> I feel like for you, the one where you flew out of the, the car when you guys were chasing somebody. Oh my God. Dude, yeah. that was just so good. Did you wait, wait, I can actually pull you, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Because no, no, don't no, because the song, uh, no, no but <laughs> oh, that's right. You, yeah. Did you, um, I can pull up the version of that song, song live. Oh, okay. 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 Because it was a clip and I was like, what? But this, but there's no way. So yeah. yeah. So what I actually did for that clip, I'll pull up the one that doesn't have, the uh, uh, I have to find it here real quick. I'll pull up yeah, the one that sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull up the one that doesn't have the the song on it. So what happened was, um, I uh, I was I was watching back the because I was just waiting there dead in the game. I was watching back the clip afterwards, and I was like, this would be really funny if I slowed this down by fifty percent. And because of the like brawlcast stuff I used to ha- used to do ages ago, I just had a wave file sitting around that was just that section of the uh, <laughs> of the song. So I literally just pulled that up and played it. Um, I can actually let's see. I believe this is the one without. I'm gonna check and make sure before I actually pull it up here. Um, I personally like the original better than the the one with the song because I. I, I love- I love the feeling of defeat that I can feel while watching the <laughs> when, you go up in the, when you go up in the air and, and you just you just hear you just hear you slap the slash P on because you know yeah. you know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know so here we go. <laughs> here here it is. Here's the clip. Oh, why do I have no audio? Why do I have no audio? Because we're supposed to sing. Apparently we're supposed <laughs> to sing. I have no idea why there's no audio on this. All right, well we're just gonna watch it without audio then. All right. Um <laughs> So we, yeah, we were we were chasing somebody, and then uh, the guy that I was riding with just barely clipped the edge of that thing there, and just midair, I was just like, panic. There we go. <laughs> and then this car <laughs> just parks right on me. Uh, uh, dicks. That's dicks. so great. Yeah, I don't actually oh, know why man. we couldn't hear that, but uh, whatever. I'll sort that out later. Um. But yeah, so that was exciting. Oh, actually, I do. I figured out why we couldn't hear it. Anyway, um, so yeah, that that one's been getting linked around a lot lately. Uh, it's actually part of a chat command that I have now. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, that uh, that Velheim set up for me. But yeah, um, this uh, whole clip commander thing is uh, it's interesting. I'm interested in the the cheerleader one too, the top cheerers, because that one I guess is actually it's not. Um, I actually think this one can have a lot of once it rolls out, it could have a lot of impact on how streamers yeah. respond to people showing up in their chat because this one is cross channel. It's not channel specific. So this is for somebody um, who see it starts with people who have cheered a total of at least one point twenty five million bits. So that's a thousand dollars. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's a lot of a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, a little over uh, ten thousand dollars. Yeah, um, that's a lot of money. And so, if you see someone show up in your chat and they have this little badge, and it's the first time you've seen them, and they have this little badge that says, "Yeah, I fucking roll." <laughs> like, Damn. Yeah, yeah that's like that. someone walking into a store. They have like the fur coat on. They got the yeah. blank glasses and everything. Jesus. So yeah. then, the five million. Then that would be is that, is that fifty thousand dollars, right? Like how? Oh, is that? Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Like that's like somebody is going to get that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pure, purely because they want that, you know, that badge. You know, it's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. And it, like the sort of person that uh, I, I think everybody who streams for long enough, eventually you have someone who rolls along and you can like remember their name off the top of your head because you're like, yeah, that guy keeps throwing massive cheers at me mm-hmm. um, or massive donations or whatever. Um, and so that sort of person is likely to want to, uh, to, yeah, I see one of them in my chat right now saying, don't tempt me, um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like that, that, that's the sort of thing it's designed for that. It was what, uh, in the microtransaction universe, they're called a whale because that's the sort of person where for something like, uh, like cheers, 
it's like that's the white whale right like that's what you're chasing after the whole time you're going past all these other things and you're like whatever uh, there's like 5,000 people that use this thing and uh, we're doing it all so that that one person who's going to throw a whole ton of money at it um, gets hooked. So it's it's interesting. Um, I'm I'm personally really curious if that's going to change how like if you get this, if you get one of these badges and you just show up in somebody's uh, somebody's channel with this badge. If all of a sudden they're just going to be like, hey, how's it going? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Hey, can we get a shout out for this guy? What's going on? <laughs> Worship me. <laughs> look, look at the badges. They actually really are blingy. Like, they look, yeah. They're all like diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll pull them up real quick. We can take a look at them here. Uh, there we go. You can see the badges right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, actually, the thing was going to let me zoom in. There we go. Those are. Um, those are those are some fancy uh fancy badges right they're all like diamond crusted and like <laughs> shimmery and everything like this is a badge that says yeah i got i got money i got money right here oh and you oh, know God. people that do have that money are gonna go after those right away oh yeah absolutely yeah, yeah it's, it's actually funny actually somebody in your chat says corporate endorsed peeps will start calling shots like it's oh man that's what's gonna happen <laughs> people are gonna start lot is somebody's gonna or some group is gonna try to support one single person to get them some kind of leverage and it's like okay if oh, we man. all fit at this one guy we could have this account oh my god i didn't even think about that actually if you could get an account to the fifty thousand mark does that mean and get that badge a fifty thousand dollar mark does that mean that you could turn around and sell that account on ebay for a profit oh Ooh. man are, is this because our it costs more is this our first official internet famous tinfoil hat moment I think so. <laughs> is this happening right now? I think so. All I right, let's go down this rabbit hole. I'm prepared here. Yeah, but like, think about it. It cost was at 1.5 times or like per bit, right? So what is like seventy five thousand yeah. dollars? I guess one point four uh, times per bit. Yeah. So let's just say like seventy thousand yeah. uh, dollars. And so that's that count now to get to that value, get that badge, you would have to have spent seventy thousand dollars. So a, 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 you could turn around and probably sell it for seventy five thousand dollars to a profit of five thousand dollars pretty easily. And uh, you know, right now, I don't really think there's an issue with. It's not like wow, where it's like oh, account selling and all this stuff is rampant and all that. You know, like it's not. It's not really a known thing to the Twitch universe. There's no one selling their bullshit accounts. You know, for any reason, unless they have a name that somebody wants. But yeah. it it's it seems like it seems like a, a, something that might work if 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 that becomes something that sways people it's like okay now i have an account that i could go into you know dr disrespects you know or some other big streamer or lyric or somebody and it's like oh all of a sudden you know that person's paying attention to me so i could say something and drop whatever i want or you know yeah. say something plant that, a seed that is a huge that is a huge go pass you, you you have a really good point that someone walks in there with a five million dollar badge it's like the golden. It's like when the golden kappa. Like, remember how hype the golden kappa used to be, mm. and now now it's kind of watered down because I think it's not like one person anymore. It's like thirty people get it every day. Um, someone walks into your chat with a five million dollar cheer badge. There's a table right here for you, sir. <laughs> let, me get, let, me get, let me get the sparkling water. <laughs> Stop helping me. Come help him. Yeah. You break out. You break out the pen, and you're just like, "All right, hold on. I'll get this right now." So, what's your name? Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, just, just, I'll just start right now. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Send them immediately off to the VIP room, mm -hmm. <laughs> which you can do now. Actually, that's the other thing. Oh God, that Twitch came out with uh, mm -hmm. just today. They launched their new uh, rooms feature, and this one is um, this one's a bit controversial, um, mostly because I think there's a lot of like top broadcasters who are already like they, they have a very well established discord or something already. And they're just like, why would I use this? I've got this discord. Why would I why would I use rooms instead? But basically, it's just um, like subsets of a chat room. Like um, if you're if you're in a Twitch stream and you click in rooms in the upper right, you click the drop down there, you can go to different rooms and that's basically all it is and you can set it up I actually set up a couple of them myself already just to sort of test it out um oh, you see that yeah moderator clips meta yeah exactly so I've got I've got one set up for mods to talk to each other about like oh shit hang on this this guy's doing something in the chat I banned him blah 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 um I've got one and that only moderators can see that um so congratulations Mike uh, <laughs> I, I set up one for clips and I made that so that subs could post in it but everyone could see it the idea is sort of being like, hey, if you make a clip, share it in here. Or if there's a clip from another stream, share it in here. And these are persistent, which is a uh, important thing to remember for that one in particular. 
Um, it's not going to go away when I stop streaming or when if you if you load the page later, you'll still be able to see all those in there. Um, and then I made another one just because of RP streaming. I made another one for meta discussions so that that way, if someone wants to talk about something that's going on elsewhere on the server, they can do that. But it's not in a place where I'll be looking at it. Um, and that's kind of the sort of use case that I see for these at the moment. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I think a lot of people look at, looked at these right away. And I mean, f- the full disclosure, uh, my wife is the project lead on this. So I'm going to be biased towards rooms pretty much regardless. <laughs> but um, that's kind of what I'm seeing for this is like, hey, I'm not going to just jump in here and make 50 rooms right away. But I'm going to, you know, think about like, what's something that I would want separated from my mainstream chat? And that's kind of where I went from it. What, what sort of thoughts do you guys have on these? That's not bad. I mean, honestly, because I think something like this didn't it exist a while ago, but it really wasn't that fleshed out. Um, yeah, they had like um, private chat rooms or something for yeah. a while, but they were super janky and hard to yeah. use. And no one ever used them because I remember uh, it was like three years ago or so. And I was watching Lyric one day and then I got invited by some random person into it was called the Lyric lab channel or something it was basically where everyone like kind of got that same invite <laughs> <laughs> it's like where everyone would talk if they weren't sub to lyric because lyric runs sub mode or he did mm-hmm. that. i don't know if he does now but no i don't mind it i mean if anything i could see some benefits to it like i don't know say the streamer has his chat going he doesn't have sub mode and like people are being really dumb in there and you just want to separate yourself as a viewer okay there's a there's a sub channel over here let me go talk over there you know i, I don't mind it. i think it's great yeah. yeah yeah it's uh i think the the way you're using it is like the first that's the first thing it's like okay a place where like mods can have a discussion or something um but i mean at the same time like i don't see this getting a lot of use for streamers like i mean streamers as small or as big as me you know like i just i can't really see myself like Unless you want to have some, especially because I have Discord, right? right? And Discord gets plenty of traffic. And so it's like, I just can't, I can't necessarily see my, I can see it for like the bigger streamers, but I don't know what percentage these larger streamers will make up. And if it's, if it's something that you're going to find value in, if they don't already have their own established ways of, you know, communicating through Discord or whatever else. Um, so like the moderator thing makes sense. I get it with the RP stuff with the meta, because then random people who kind of stumble into the stream, you could be like, Hey, go to the meta room. If you want to talk about things going on somewhere else in the server, that way, you know, you don't get like some kind of inside information or something. Um, I could see that being a thing, or maybe on special nights when, uh, when you're playing a game and you want a spoiler, a spoiler room yeah. or something where people go as spoilers, like wow. that makes sense too. Um, but it's not something that I'm going to be able to see. Therefore, it's not something I'm going to be able to really regulate. So it's like if I have a room that's for like spoiler discussion and then a bunch of people go in there and start going off about some crazy shit. It's like, well, I'm not going to be there to stop it. I hope I have a mod in there or something. Yeah, it's just so it's 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 just kind of an out of sight, out of mind almost type of feature, I feel like. Yeah, that's one of the things I was thinking about it with it, too, is like in the case where like I, I had originally set up a sub room and then I actually deleted it. Because I was like, I'm not going to be able to look at this and also the main chat room while I'm streaming. So, I mean, I guess I could like, because you can pop them out. I could pop out the other one and have the other one just floating around somewhere. But I kind of only really want to be looking at one chat room while I'm streaming. But considering that they're persistent, like, I I think that's okay to an extent for certain uses. Just because like, okay, yeah, sure. You can have a sub room and just say, I, I don't look at this while I'm live, but if you guys want to chat when I'm not live, then that's fine. I don't, I don't know that that's a great use case overall, to be completely honest. Um, I also think that, so like establishing a Discord and getting a Discord up and running can be kind of hit or miss for a, an establishing streamer or a smaller streamer. Um, and I think the barrier to entry being low on rooms is actually a big deal. Because like, Mike, you, you've got a Discord that people talk in all the time that you, you've got a lot of traction on. So when you say, hey, join this Discord, someone joins up and they see all these discussions happening. Like, that's great. For someone mm-hmm. who doesn't already have an established Discord saying, hey, yeah, join this Discord. We talk in there sometimes. Like my Discord it doesn't get a lot of use. I haven't really been focusing on it too much, so it doesn't get a whole lot of use. So right. for me, this is like, I'm not kind of looking at this and going, yeah, we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. We'll see if, uh, if people start talking in here instead of in my discord. That makes sense. You can yeah. use it as like a, as a kind of a gateway into like something bigger yeah. if you need to. Like, well, now that we have like 40 people in this room talking all the time, 24 seven, like, why don't we create a discord that way you can have yeah. like all these different categories and whatever and voice and all that stuff or, you know, or curse you know, or Twitch app thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think the moderator's angle of it is definitely something to consider. Um, Total Biscuit actually said something um, uh, on Twitter about that earlier that I thought was fairly fairly clever, which was, if you can't moderate it, just don't make one. I'm like, all right. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, people are always trying to like connect these things that they don't like with another thing that somebody else said before. Like I even did a live on the show when we were doing a uh, when Chisel and I were, were uh, kind of like live casting the, uh, the the community guidelines thing. It's like their chat was just going nuts, and I was like, "Oh, what, what's up, Twitch? What's why can't you moderate your chat?" You know, it's like, <laughs> people just love to do that, and it's totally going to be a thing. Uh, especially you know, with this, it's like, "Oh, here's this thing that that you guys made when we totally wanted like 19 other things," and it's like, "Well." You know, maybe those things are being worked on because it's not like this the 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 make it guy. It's not like this <laughs> things that he's working on, you know? Yeah. One yeah, thing and like go ahead. I was gonna say one thing I do like though is uh because I, I watched a video just off the side here, and it looks like they they're fun they they're functional on uh on on the mo on fo- yeah. cell phones and tablets. So that's that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm interested. It said that they're they're working on adding them to the desktop chat or the desktop app too. At which point, like I could see them basically because of the way the desktop app works is it's kind of like a a, a sort of half assed version of Discord. Mm-hmm. I could see a future where this ends up being essentially the same thing as Discord, just also implemented directly into your channel page. Like if there was some way to, or uh, actually think about that. Maybe eventually what they could do is open up the API so that it is able to link between discord and these rooms. So you could have some of your discord rooms that also just appear on your Twitch page. That could be interesting as well. I don't know. There's, there's lots of ways that they could go with it. And the reason that I'm, I'm talking about all this is because like, I know that Olivia is sort of looking at this from the perspective of we'll launch with a minimum viable product, see mm-hmm. what doesn't work, see what does work and sort of go from there, um, which is really smart. And that's the, that's the absolutely the way to, to launch something like this is We'll come out. We, instead of trying to guess every single way that someone might want to use our communications feature, come out with a basic version of it and see what they're trying to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, like I said before, I'm obviously going to be biased here, but um, I'm interested to see how it ends up working out um, and what sort of use I can get from it. Um, Somebody will come up with something. I mean, it's just like any other like you know, MVP tool where it's just like, okay, here's this thing that's great. Okay, well, what am I going to use it for? And then they come up with some crazy thing that they they managed to pull off with it. All, all of a sudden, everyone's like, that's what this thing was built for, you know? And, and they all <laughs> jump on it and they start doing whatever that thing is. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's like, like Grand Theft Auto, for example, with RP stuff. It's like, they built this game to do this thing. And people were like, well, we could do this other thing with it. And everyone's like, that's what it was made for. And that's pretty much the way it goes. So yeah. Yeah. And l- like you mentioned the idea of like a spoiler channel too. Like if I were to, half the reason that I haven't been streaming Subnautica is because I know that there's a bunch of stuff that can be spoiled in that game. And I don't want it to be spoiled for me while I'm playing it. But if yeah. I just real quick made a little spoiler chat room and I was like, yeah, you guys can talk about spoiler stuff in here. Talk about spoilers all you want in that channel. Um, I'm not going to look at it, but you can talk amongst yourselves and be like, oh, man, he's about to get to this point and something crazy is going to happen or something like that. Like that. That could be cool. Yeah. What, a, what about and hear me out here. Follow mm-hmm. me on the journey. Don't don't don't. There's like shiny apples here, but follow me all the way through. <laughs> What about an ERP room? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> is there continued following that needs to happen here or is that the end of no, that? No, that's like that's like you open the door and there's just people everywhere getting it on. E- <laughs> ERP room. Topic, subject, bananas or something like that. You have a bot that basically changes the subject, right? It changes the topic uh-huh. every like five minutes or so. It's like yeah, it's like yeah, whose line is it's like whose line yeah, is anyway, yeah. but for ERP, I like that. Mm. That's a good concept. Mm. Well, it's eighteen uh, plus. They, can, I mean, I, I think I think that's okay, right? Eighteen plus. They already know what's going on in there. Yeah. ERP. We'll have to uh, we'll get Selvik in on that. I'm sure he'd be oh, down yeah. for it. <laughs> he'd be the, the front runner in it. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna be the, the the leader of this whole thing. <laughs> uh, so anyway, <laughs> speaking of ERP, I guess. <laughs> By which I mean, speaking of things that everyone does but doesn't want to tell you about, Facebook actually has added a few new features. Um, we'll ignore part of what I just said. Facebook has added some new features um, for streamers as well. Um, this was actually a couple of weeks ago, and we've been meaning to talk about it at some point, but based on all the stuff that Twitch has been doing, it uh, seems like as good a time as any. Um, they basically 
have uh, they've come out and said that they they're forming a what's called a game streaming creator program, um, mm-hmm. and they haven't given us a ton of details on what that actually means just yet. Other than like obviously where originally when Facebook live streaming came out, they were like, oh, yeah, just while you're out in the middle of nowhere, go ahead and flip this on and do a little IRL stream of you using the bank. Wait, that's a terrible idea. Please don't actually do that. (laughs) Um, And like, uh, I I think part of what happened there was like all the IRL streamers started like all the actual like knock on issues of IRL streaming started popping up with like harassment and stuff like that. Um, So now they're like trying to get more and more into game streaming. Um, So obviously launching a game streaming creators program for that is a big part of that. But the interesting thing is that they've now, they're now allowing monetization. You can actually tip um, a, a minimum of $3 directly through uh, the site. Um, there's no sort of alerts or anything for that as of yet, but they're apparently talking about it and trying to, uh, um, trying to, they actually call it fan support is what they call it rather than tips, which is interesting. Um, <laughs> And they, uh, they, they say that there will at some point be a revenue share on that. So it's not going to be like, um, like just free money for the broadcaster. They are going to take a part of that. But I don't know. This is kind of like uh, the more I'm thinking about this, the more I'm like Facebook as a gamer streaming platform. Is that something that would even work? Like, how would that how would you do that? Is the platform just too weird <laughs> for that to make any sense? I feel like I feel like Facebook is trying to do so many things at once. You know what I mean? I, I, hmm. don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm right in that. Like, like one of the biggest issues that that Facebook has always had, and one of the reasons I stopped using it so much is uh, security. Right? You know, people finding out where you're at. You know, using that information to mess with you, and the idea. Like, like the idea in general of, of streaming on Facebook, like I see some of my friends do it. Um, I don't know that just that, 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 like I try and imagine myself going live on Twitch and having my my actual name, my phone number, yeah. my address sitting there um, for people to see. And I know there's like security measures where you can block it. But to my knowledge, for those uh, like when you stream live on on Facebook, there's ways people that even if they're not your friends can like interact with them which weirds me out. Yeah, I know um, Panzer Trade Chat has been using it to stream lately. Um, and I, I just happen to know that a big big part of that is due to some issues that she has with Twitch specifically. Um, and so she's just decided to start streaming on Facebook instead. I think it has to do with like Twitch moderation policies and harassment and so on. Um, but I don't, I don't remember exactly. Um, but she's been streaming on Facebook lately and she actually streams as her page rather than as herself. Mm-hmm. Um, so she does at least have that amount of separation there but I don't know. It, like I'm always just kind of skeptical because Facebook knows so much about a person, mm-hmm. like all it's going to take. And obviously they're very good about data security and so on, but all it's going to take is one breach at some point, And all of a sudden it's like names and addresses of a thousand Facebook streamers are now out there. And then the swatting happens. And then uh, all sorts of people start showing up and knocking on doors and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Um, and that's fu- we're actually going to talk about one of those sort of sorts of incidents a little bit later in the show. But that sort of shit's terrifying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think um, <clears throat> one of the one of the biggest things that would prevent me from jumping shit from Twitch to there uh, is they and maybe for a lot of people, too, is they, they kind of like uh, they kind of gave up on pages of people who were not like massive yeah. you know, like a long time ago. Um, you know, like six years ago or so, like you post something, it would get in the regular rotation or so, right? Like it in people's feeds. Uh, now it's like if you want to get seen, you got to pay, you know, and that's pretty much like if you want to get actual coverage, you're probably gonna have to pay for it. Like after a while, like it's it, I just walked away. I haven't touched my Facebook page in, in forever because it's just it's just why would I bother? Like I'm gonna post it and then they're gonna hold it until I, unless I figure out some combination of you have to have a picture and then it has to be tagged and all this stuff. It's like, okay, if I figure out this magic combination that it's gonna show up in people's feeds, then great. If not, then just forget it, you know? Yeah. Uh, and also like, I, I don't feel like there's a demographic there that I am interested in streaming to. You know, like the people that are on Facebook for me, uh, they're like, 
they're they're like my friends who are my <laughs> age and all of them are like they all have 16 year olds now somehow uh and and then like my parents you know like <laughs> I, i'm not s- streaming to them you know so i just i just don't see any there's no incentive for me to go and stream on a platform that gave up on me a long time ago i'm just not gonna do it yeah like the page stuff um a big part of what um we end up doing in the community marketing side of things at blizzard um is trying to figure out how facebook's algorithm works because they do change it like constantly and like we figured out all sorts of little things like don't post a live right now thing on facebook because if you post live right now people aren't going to see it for a day or two uh, yeah. because of how it actually distributes information which goes directly against the idea of trying to live stream on facebook because if you're posting on facebook hey guys i'm live on facebook right now and then people don't see it for a couple of days and then you get that sort of like like you see i've seen it pop up in my feed a few times where it's like so and so was live and it's like okay i i don't want to watch this here. now yeah yeah the, like the just other, the way no, i'm sorry i was gonna say just the way that people consume content in 2018 if it's live i'm okay with there being like a 10 minute period of time where nothing's really going on because i'm just waiting for something cool to happen but if it's a vod that i'm watching later then i'm like no just cut it down show me the like I, i'm not going to watch a full vod of someone's uh stream i'm going to scrub through it sure and i'll look for like interesting points where it happens but i'm not going to sit there and just watch the whole thing the other question that comes into it is like is it too late like are they getting into the game because when you think about it you got Twitch, right? Before that, it was Justin. You got mm. Twitch. Then you had like, to my knowledge, it wasn't it like MLG was another co- direct competitor back in the day with uh with Twitch. And then you yeah. had Hitbox, which is still a thing somehow. Live stream <laughs> and live stream, yeah, stream. stream. And, and yeah, and then and then YouTube got into the game. And and YouTube, I mean, I've tried to watch some YouTube streams, and it's 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 confusing as fuck. Yeah, I don't get it. The, the chat, the chat doesn't make any sense to me at no. all. Is yeah, like, no. am I leaving a comment or is this chat? Like, I just, yeah. you know, I'm sure there's a simple answer to that, but the fact that it doesn't stand out to me immediately just makes it go, well, next. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then like, recently, within the last year, you had, uh, you had Mixer come into, come into mm-hmm. the game, and it's like, you got, you got all those, and then you got YouTube that's trying to get in there, where you got Twitch already as the big dog. It's like, I don't know. Like, like would you ever leave Twitch if, like, I don't know, Facebook came at you and was like, hey, come stream over here. I know you're going to lose 90% of your audience, but come try, come check us out. Yeah, I mean, like, it would have to be, and uh, we actually know that, uh, I know that Twitch made this deal with a few people ages ago when they were trying to get uh, Twitch itself established, um, where they'd be like, hey, we'll pay you X amount to switch to our platform. So I could see mm-hmm. Facebook eventually getting themselves to a point where they're like, hey, Dr. Disrespect, switch to Facebook. We'll pay you two hundred thousand dollars or something like that. Um, and we'll, I feel like they're already doing that. Like, they have to be trying to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's 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 a bunch of you watch like the little the little video uh, that kind of like breaks down. Oh, this is Facebook Live and all this stuff has all these like testimonials and everything. I feel like, you know what? I don't know any of these people except for Panzer, right? I don't know any of these people, but I'm willing to bet they're probably all like probably mid range popularity and on YouTube, maybe. Uh, and they're probably getting paid. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's because I can't imagine like it, that's that's part of the process of launch. Just like you said with Twitch, it's like that's just part of the process. You gotta go and you gotta you gotta pay people to to stream on your platform and bring their audience over. Yeah, because I mean, I'm not gonna switch to streaming on Facebook, and I'm not even yeah. that well established on Twitch. But I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna walk away from this audience that I have to nothing. <laughs> like, yeah. to just guess. Yeah, like yeah. like for the, for the most part, when you think about like all the people that are going to Mixer, that are going to Hitbox, fa- uh, YouTube, Facebook, it's like I, I feel like there's two categories, or no, three categories. You got the people that are just starting out, and I don't know, maybe they just don't want to try Twitch out. Then you got the people that were banned off of Twitch who are over there now because they got no other choice. And then you have the people who um, they tried Twitch and it just didn't work out for them, and they want to try something else. You know, I, I have one buddy who uh he tried twitch for a while um doesn't help he was playing league of legends so his growth wasn't that great yeah yeah and, uh he just said fuck it and he went over to to mixer and he he actually has he's had better success but it's like the audience over there it's just it's just not there yet yeah you know? yeah you could be the biggest streamer there and still only have you know a thousand viewers which yep. to a lot of people it's like that's a lot that's crazy i would love to have that but it's like if that's the peak yeah, you know, mm-hmm. like you have to pray that the site continues to get traction. It continues to grow. Otherwise, 
that's where you plateau. That's because you're at the top now. Where else is there to go? Yeah. yeah. Mixer does at least seem to be doing better than YouTube did when YouTube Gaming launched. Um, like I actually see people going like like I follow um, uh, Streamlabs and so on. And I'll see people like talking about, hey, when are you going to when is your Streamlabs OBS going to work for Mixer? And it's like people are actually asking these questions. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I've never seen yeah. anyone be like, hey, when is this going to work for YouTube or when is this going to work for Facebook? Because it's yeah. like, who cares? Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think um, the, the other thing I was just going to talk about is just like the the monetary side of things like they, they're going to need people like like Streamlabs, like um, Muxy. Uh, stream alerts any uh, or stream elements anything like that um they're gonna need something like that that works for their platform because that's just how live streaming works right now um they could try and do something similar in one of these articles they sort of mentioned like the idea of a tipper gets like a special emote or something that pops up on the the screen as the part of the actual thing but it needs to be done in a way where the streamer can respond to it because that's kind of the whole reason that the alerts exist in the first place is for yeah. uh something to happen um, and it either is a big flashy thing that happens on the stream or it's something that pops up so that the streamer can be like, yo, thanks so much for that, that cheer, whatever, you know. Um, and also like the pages themselves need to be done in a way like I actually think that one of Twitch's biggest assets as a live streamer is the actual Twitch page that you go to when you go to, when you go to someone's channel and you can scroll down and see like, here's information about me. Here's here's who I am. Here's when I stream and so on. Not everyone goes down and looks at that, but the fact that it's there, I think, helps keep some element of their their audience sticking around. Um, and that's uh, Facebook has the obviously the ability to do stuff like that. But the way things are set up right now, it's just kind of confusing. You also got to look at it as, as like and I'm not I'm not saying a lot of uh, starting out streamers uh, look at it this way. But when you get more established and you start, you know, taking on sponsor deals, that page itself on Twitch is a huge. Um, God, mm. What do they call? What are they called? It's a huge billboard, right? Yeah. And, and that can be another avenue for monetization on Twitch, which is why I, I mean, I personally used that before. So it, uh, that, I agree with you. The Twitch page is a huge is a huge pull. Yeah. And Facebook has in the past been very, very resistant to people putting ads on Facebook that aren't through their own ad system. So mm-hmm. if that just means that you can't be sponsored as a Facebook streamer, then that's kind of DOA right there, in my opinion. Yep. Sad. No, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I will uh, say about Facebook, though, really quick, hmm. is on those live streams, I love the little, I don't know what it is. It's like the em- emojis that like, it, it's totally a, a Periscope thing, you know, like you, you, someone does enough smiley faces and little smiley oh faces. yeah like old balloons mm. go up yeah. yeah 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 um that's a big thing actually when it comes to monetization on mobile apps and like stickers selling stickers and all that yeah. stuff like being able to integrate them like stickers is actually like a massive like weird kind of like sub industry you know it's like there's people out there making stickers apps and just making tons of cash it's like what okay but yeah like those things are huge man the little floaty bits or whatever it's yeah. crazy can there's you a, imagine can you imagine if your emotes, if there was a feed that your emotes could do that little, little floaty sub emotes? Yeah, there's um, there's a couple of extensions on Twitch now that do something like that, but I don't think oh, yeah. they do it quite exactly the same way. Like you can have a an overlay on Twitch that like people can put a kappa and like a kappa will float by on the screen or something. I know what but, you're talking about. Yeah. The yeah. Streamlast has it for like if you're a premium user, then you get you have a little e- emote that kind of pops up like a kappa or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. As part uh, of the but there's there is another um there's another couple of things that people have that basically goes like floaties, just like the same thing where people could trigger it by yeah. you know, spamming it in chat or something. Yeah. Part of the problem that's that um Twitch has with that right now is just that you can only have one overlay. So if you want that one, then you have to get rid of your like oh I know a lot of people do like the Streamlabs rewards overlay right now, yeah. which will have like the little treasure chests or whatever that pop up that you click on. Um, one, one thing, um, I completely lost my train of thought. Never mind. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and move on to this one. I feel like we've talked that one to death at this point. Let's move (laughs) on. Um, and actually this one, this one's kind of a serious thing that happened. So, uh, there were a couple of YouTubers, um, Gavin free and, uh, Meg Turney are their names. I don't know. I, I don't know their content myself specifically. Um, I just personally, I've mentioned this before. I don't watch a lot of YouTube these days. Um, but they actually had someone just show up at their house with a gun 
and like break in and like the the cops were like looking through the uh, his like phone and stuff afterwards and found out like this guy was there because he wanted to kill Gavin Free. Yeah. And what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Like just literally showed up at their house, got their address somehow, uh had convinced himself that he was totally in love with Meg Turney, showed up at their house, broke in. Fortunately, they heard him break in because he's not very smart because the sort of person that does this is generally not very smart. Um, he also parked in the driveway. <laughs> there's that too, yeah. But fortunately, they actually heard this, woke up, hid in the closet, um, and were able to dial 911 from in the closet and, uh, and get the cops out there. So fortunately, they're fine. Um, the guy apparently uh, got into his car, cops showed up, killed himself right, on the, the, right there. Um, it's a little unclear if it was... The, the, they heard a, the cops heard a gunshot, basically. Yeah. Um, and then they found the guy dead in the thing. One of the other cops had actually fired upon hearing that gunshot. But um, either way, crazy dude shows up at uh, these YouTubers place, breaks in. And they had to hide in a closet for their actual literal lives. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, no. I <laughs> Gav- Gavin, Gavin Free, he's of the slow-mo guys. They were picked up by Rooster Teeth. They have a great series where they basically do a lot of crazy slow-mo stuff. Um, uh, he's a regular, uh, not, I mean, not a regular, but he's on the podcast every once in a while as well. Uh, Meg Turney also used to be on, uh, on Rooster Teeth and something else, um, but she has since now just focused on doing like modeling and uh, um, she has like a Patreon and just cosplay and all that. Uh, so that's what she does. So um you know they're you know they they're they're married or whatever and uh this guy found out where they lived and showed up at their house with a gun with the intent to kill gavin because he was in love with meg turney and it's just it's just fucking insane it's just fucking insane man that that, that's even you know it's funny when when i read an article and you were repeating here it's like oh yeah they hit in the closet i was like that's the last thing i would have thought of like (laughs) i always think about Cause I have, I, have my, I have like my paranoia like moments, right? Where I'm laying in bed and I hear a sound. I'm like, okay, it's nothing. But what would I do if it was, you know, like, and I go through the steps and it's like, all right. So the first thing I would do is blank and blank or whatever, you know? And it's like the last thing my mind is ever hide in the closet. It's always like flying Lariat down the stairs, throwing a, <laughs> throwing a couch out the thing, you know, it's like take the, 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 the bike and just throw it down the thing. Let's like, just hope it hits something. There's always something else other than hide in the closet. And, that's a brilliant idea. Holy <laughs> shit. Like maybe that's something to do. Uh, but no, like it's still, it's still crazy that, that that happens. And I don't know how protective they were of where they live, but hmm. you know, to anybody who's persistent enough, you know, and they want to, they will find a way to find out where you live. It's wow. it's if they want to, they will. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was just one of the things that I wanted to talk about as part of this is if you are a content creator and you don't and you think that you have protected your address, just don't don't think that you have protected your address. Basically, expect that someone's going to be able to find out where you live because who knows what you haven't thought of. Absolutely. It's like it's like in the it's in the same realm of like swatting. It's like what, like a month or two ago, we had that that story of um, uh, the father, I think. They, some some guy swatted uh, his house and and the 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 officers ended up uh, shooting him and he died. It's like there's steps you could take to help you, you know, like you know, calling your local PD for that kind of stuff. But someone just showing up to your house that's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. And calling your local PD doesn't help when it's LAPD. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it's like LAPD was like whatever, you know. Yeah. Oh, is it? What is it? Is it John? Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember that John. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just not something that you could really. For in, for in some case, if you live in a small town, then it's like, oh, sure. Like, you, you know, the cops or whatever. Then it's like, OK, cool. You get away with it, you know, but it's still scary. And like in that case, like that guy who got who got killed, he wasn't even part of the dispute. It was like his brother or something like that yeah. or his nephew or whatever that got into arguing online. And the guy, the guy petitioned another guy who was known to basically call in SWATs. And it was like it was like a hired hitman, basically, who called in a SWAT on the house and then they went and then the cops in their fucking brilliance, like decided to shoot the guy who answered the door. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's crazy. I think, uh, arc arc legger said it like perfectly. Um, and a tweet just probably a couple hours ago, something along the lines of we can't leave our house because you know, no matter what public place we're at, where there's always a risk that we're going to get fucking shot nowadays. Uh, and then, but I also, we can't stay at home because then there's going to come here and shoot us. And it's just like, 
well, what do we do this? Yeah. This I want to say there's no solution, right? But that just opens up a whole, <laughs> a yeah. whole debate. Uh, yeah, you know, if you go that route, but still, it's just like there's nowhere you could feel necessarily safe. Yeah, it's it's scary stuff. And like uh, you sort of mentioned, like there's things that you can do to try and help, like get in contact with your local police. Um, uh, we actually know somebody who uh, had done that, fortunately, and then a, a swatting uh, attempt was made on her, and she fortunately was safe because she'd contacted her local police um that was relatively recent as well yep. um but um like the, there's only so much you, you can't like you say you can't prevent someone from just showing up at your house with a gun and attacking you and i know people like to say like well just yeah, have a have your own gun i don't want to get in a fucking gunfight. <laughs> like are you kidding me <laughs> that's not something i want to have happen uh, jesus like i'd rather know. they not show up but it's like when when all that swatting stuff really started to rise like i know i know it especially happened back um back on arma 3 because there were a lot of salty people on arma 3 um <laughs> it was like two years ago and like that stuff was really frequent you know first you had the celebrities that it would happen to then you were having streamers that were happening to i remember back then i i seriously uh considered uh not streaming anymore because of it because i couldn't imagine the uh, you know cops showing up at my house breaking down my door probably shooting my dogs and then like you know possibly hurting me or my girlfriend it's like that shit is terrifying yeah yeah Mm -hmm. and like like half the time like you can totally understand too how a cop showing up at someone's house and they've been as far as they're aware there's someone in there with an ak-47 ready to just start firing Mm -hmm. and then they see you doing who knows what when they get there like you're cooking something or you're you're carrying around a guitar or something like you have something in your hands. They go, yeah. Oh shit, that's that AK 47. And they just open fire. Like, like you, just, you can totally understand how that would happen. And, and then to add on to that, just think about, you know, like us, especially we're very vocal as, a, as streamers, imagine them yeah. being outside your house and they hear you screaming at like, especially with the RP shit, when you're screaming at someone to get <laughs> down or you're going to shoot them. Right. It's like, Oh fuck, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Like what, what happens if like you or I get swatted in the middle of a 1090 or something? (laughs) Put the fucking gun down. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Yeah. I will be forced to use lethal force or something like that. Cops outside like, oh, he's threatening lethal force. Let's move in right now. Take him down. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's, um, well, that's, that's terrifying shit. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And all, all, all that we can do in this case is a hope it doesn't happen. B try to protect our information as much as possible. Um, and uh, I mean, obviously contacting your local PD to be like, Hey, mm-hmm. I stream. This is the sort of stuff that I stream. Like me telling the cops, Hey, I stream and I occasionally role play as a cop so that, uh, and that means that I'm going to be calling things out. Like we have an active 1090. I'll be forced to use lethal force and stuff like that. If you roll up on my house and you hear me shouting that that's what that is. Yeah. But like, I live I live in a fairly populated area. If one cop out of the 500, I don't know how many in my area knows that. Like how is that information going to get spread around? Does everyone need a bulletin that says, "Yo, by the way, if you show up at this guy's house, he's going to probably be shouting about how he's a cop." Like they're not <laughs> What's well, like know. Mike it's it's like Mike said, it's so dependent on your area, you know? Like you live in somewhere like as huge as LA, it's like I don't know. It, it like cuz that's so, such a a new thing that's been happening like swatting or, or people finding you through the internet it's like i don't know if they're and, and they could i mean i'm just speaking off of some guy that plays video games in his den like are they that caught up with that kind of stuff that's happening do they have protocols that they're starting to learn on how to handle that it's like you never you don't know yeah they, they yeah don't. yeah now they now they have to be trained to uh be ready for it to be a prank you know and like I'm sure they've been called for pranks before, but like this is a completely different, you know, level, uh, I feel like than what it used to be a per- the periodic bomb threat to the school or whatever that would happen in high school. Like that's, you know, now it's like they're not, they're just sending them straight to your house now. So I'm like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. a completely different environment. Yeah. yeah. Like they Scary know stuff. not to go to a school and start shooting at the first thing that moves, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's hate to say that today of all fucking days, but. Oh, uh, sure. But yeah. Know, but yeah, but it's like when they go to a house, like they know absolutely nothing about the house or what to expect. So yeah. also yep. such a sense of uh, like violation of your privacy, right? I mean, like your house, that is your kingdom. That mm-hmm. is where you go yeah. 
or at least when we were growing up, that's where that's where you would go and know, hey, this is where I can be safe and not have to worry about the outside world. And like like Laura was like Laura was saying, I, I think it was Laura. Um, <laughs> you can't go outside because you might get shot. Now you can't stay at home because you might get shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So anyway, that sucks. Um, let's. I want to end the show on a lighter note. I feel like we're going to go over a little bit if I go on to another topic, but I want to end the show on a lighter note than, hey, let's all not get shot. Yeah. Um, just because this one is just kind of funny. So the Olympics have been going on, obviously, the Winter Olympics. Um, and Adam uh, Rippon, is that how you pronounce his last name? Yeah, it's Rippon. Rippon? Yeah. Adam Rippon um, uh, got a medal for figure skating. Uh, first openly gay athlete. Uh, to get a medal for figure skating there was a really funny tweet i saw about that which was like how has it taken this long for an openly gay figure skater <laughs> to win a medal it seems like that should have happened a while ago i was yeah, looking openly, at stereotypes. Op- openly openly yes exactly yeah. <laughs> but yeah i mean that's not to uh, that's not i'm not trying to diminish his uh, his accomplishment at all by any means it's actually an amazing thing that um that he was able to do there um but what's extra funny about this is that there's a game developer who um, he used to make a bunch of like smaller games. Now he's working on a new Street Fighter, I think. Uh, who's also whose name is also Adam Rippon, and so people have just oh, been no. shitting on him on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because <laughs> like the the other the sort other sort of part of this, it's not just that people are being blatantly homophobic towards him. It's also like um, the the figure skater is like very vocally like anti-Trump and so on. So. Uh, now this game dev is getting all sorts of hate because of the guy who won the 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 medal in figure skating and it's just kind of funny so uh i myself am a big fan of figure skating and uh adam ripon is like an incredible skater uh even if you even if you can't if you have no appreciation whatsoever you don't care about figure skating just look up like one of his most recent performances and you'll see you you could see visually see a difference between how he skates and how other people skate. He goes more like the artistic creative side and not necessarily just like, OK, this jump's going to give me X amount of points. So I go from jump to jump to jump. It feels more like uh, kind of a composition than it does. It's kind of a series of points. Um, so he's he got into a little bit of a, uh, I guess, like a Twitter, like kerfluffle, I guess, with uh, <laughs> with Pence, uh, because Pence believes that maybe he said something and then maybe just tweeted at him, not necessarily. Pence didn't necessarily say something probably at him, right? Probably just tweeted something about, oh, yeah, uh, we can you, we get uh, reform gays somehow. Or, well, I can't remember what they call it. It was like some kind of like thing where you could basically send somebody who's gay to some program like boot camp or something. And they come out, they're like, yeah, I'm not gay anymore. <laughs> um, and so I think that's some along those lines that, 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 that Pence believes in and uh, or supports. And so Adam is very vocal, obviously, against that. Uh, and so that draws a lot of ire his way. And so that's why now <laughs> Adam Rippon, the game developer, is getting shit for everything from you know being gay to uh, not being patriotic to, yeah. uh, I don't know, maybe not landing that triple Lutz. <laughs> or, <laughs> like, he's just getting pooped yeah. on for like everything. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a similar thing happened to me a, a few weeks ago, actually, because I have one of the most common names in America. Which is how I deal with swatting, personally, is just by having 50,000 of them. But um, one, of, one of my clones uh, won, uh, or, um, was drafted into the NFL as a quarterback or something. And so for two days, everyone was freaking the fuck out about Josh Allen. <laughs> and Josh Allen was like trending on Twitter for like two days. People kept messaging me and being like, God, I can't believe this guy. Well, how, how dare they pick up at Devil or instead of someone else? And I'm just like, it's because of the hair. <laughs> something like that, like just trolling people like crazy. It's like the guy um, in the 70s. There was there was someone named Luke Skywalker. Mm. And oh, then, wow. I didn't and then the movie. This. And then the movies came out and the poor guy literally, I remember seeing a picture of him. He would walk around with a shirt that said, not that Luke Skywalker. <laughs> it was, it was fantastic, but I felt so bad for the guy. Not Luke. Hashtag not Luke. <laughs> and if, if, if you're wondering, if you're wondering why, uh, why he gets he's getting so much flack and someone in your chat says they could just verify that. Well, it's kind of funny and it's not an excuse or whatever, but the Adam Ripon that has the, uh, the that's just getting shit the game developer his twitter handle is at real adam ripon so oh. if somebody's like 
And so like, of course it's the right one. It's real Adam Riplot. It's the real one. <laughs> like it's of course, of course that's the what are you what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, it is just about time to wrap up, but we have one more article of business to attend to, which is that we need a name for the show. So, uh, chat room, we're going to need your, some, your assistance for this one. Uh, what uh, name should we call this episode? What should the name of this episode of Internet Famous be? We're going to give you guys a couple seconds to... Yeah. Uh, to- <laughs> Clip Commander. Oh. We're going to give you guys a couple of seconds, but I'm actually just going to, I have to go ahead and, and pull this up already. <laughs> Clip Commander is pretty good. Oh man, that's so good. Hashtag not that rip on. Uh, not that loop. Swan here. Badrius has got, I mean. I mean, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's years. pretty good. <laughs> I'm a streamer. <laughs> oh, shoot, I'm a, Jesus. Yeah. I'll probably I'll probably stay away from shoot. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Title. I think that's probably smart. Yeah. <laughs> are we are we going with are we I going think with clip commander? Clip commander, clip commander is the one. Yeah, I think uh I think clip commander is going to be <laughs> it. That's um that's, that's a good, good stuff right there. Yeah. All right guys, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Uh Thadrius, thanks so much for coming on the show, dude. Awesome to have you. Uh, yeah, no really, problem. really great to, to have you here. Uh, where can people check you out? Uh, you can check me out on Twitter uh, at Thadrius. You can check me out on Twitch, Thadri- twitch.tv forward slash Thadrius. And that's it because I don't have I don't really do anything on YouTube. Can I say one thing, though? Yeah, go for really it. Quick. It was an honor to be on this show because I, I know I've told this to Lore. I, I don't know if I've had this conversation with you, Mike. But if it wasn't for you two... And I don't know why I have a spoon in my hand. I was going to ask for the spoon. I was seriously going to ask for the spoon. It came like three times. I was like, what is it? Do I have a utensil here to back this up? But what, what I was going to say is it was an absolute honor to be on this show because if it wasn't for you two, way back on Game Breaker, I don't think I would have ever found out what Twitch was. So thank you for that. You guys are like Aww. legends in my mind. So I really did appreciate being invited. <laughs> absolutely course, man it's been You're at the top of the list yeah anytime anytime dude uh mike b aka ak mike b what you got going on uh nothing <laughs> <laughs> uh playing some nautica i uh, still I, and it's funny because i actually i felt for a moment there that i was actually falling out of love with it. i was like oh, i don't think i'm done with it and then I, I pushed like one more day and like all oh, this crazy shit happened and i was like okay we have to we, we're gonna stick this one out and keep going uh so yeah that's what i've been playing basically work through that uh nice. you can find me ak mike b everywhere uh i got awesome new photo shoots coming out if you like those kinds of things it's got a great style i use an actual vcr to process some of the uh the, the video i think that's kind of cool so that's it mm-hmm. nice uh and i've been your host devil or you can find me um if you're watching on twitch you're already here um you can find me on twitter.com slash devil um, and of course, if you weren't watching on Twitch, please do remember that you can always check out uh, this episode and any previous episodes uh, on Mike B's YouTube channel. That's going to be youtube.com slash AKA Mike B. Uh, guys, it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolutely great show. Um, we should do this again sometime. We should do this absolutely. again sometime. I'm down. All right. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>